So, here's a completed basic structure, and then as you can see, it's a pretty tall thing. Um, we looked at building the tower section in a previous video, and what I've done now is, uh, this is my steel gazing ball, so I've cut the hole in that. This is a toroid. Now, the amount of charge a, a Van der Graaff generator can create is related to the minimum radius of the top head here. So this is about 30 centimetres, I think. It's, uh, you work it out, something like 70,000 times the minimum radius. It's going to be about 480, 450, in theory, 1,000 volts that it can generate. Um, the problem here is that you get leakage from this for various factors. So imperfections on the surface will lead to leakage, but about 15% of the leakage, there you go, comes from this bit here, the hole that you cut in the bottom. But the way I cut this hole was rest it on the point, drew around it, and took a Dremel tool with a, one of the small circular cuttings um, discs and just cut around it. It took about 20 minutes to cut. It's quite a time, but um, worth taking your time to get a nice circular hole. But you also get lots of burrs on it. Now, bear in mind 15% of the losses are going to be around here. What you need to do is make sure you take those burrs off. I used a grinding um, head with the Dremel tool, a little grinder, and went around them to make sure that it was smooth. Fire will do just as well, and repurpose, something like that. But you've got, you've got to make sure you take the burrs off and leave, some, leave a nice rounded edge here to minimise the losses that you're going to get at this point here. Now, the losses will also creep down here, unless you do something like this. This is a toroid. And what it does is effectively, when that's back on in place, it curls the losses back around. So we've made the head, the toroid, and we finished off the base unit here. The base unit, again, is made from builder's board. Now, I only had builder's board, uh, I think it's 175mm. I only had builder's board 175mm across, so I've joined two pieces, and then underneath it, I use bracing pieces going that direction to thicken it up, give it a bit of stiffness. These are 45cm long M10 rod. No, Sorry, these are M12 rods. The uh, reason I use M12 is stability, really. I guess you could use M10. Uh, M8 is going to be far too unstable, but I used M12. Now, on here are some, I don't know if you can see those, some square plate washers. They go above and beneath. I'll just show you that. There you go. And there's the square plate washers there. This is a dome nut. The clamp, when you screw these together, it clamps against the two square plates and helps hold that at 90 degrees to the base. The holes here are drilled in the base at 12 millimeters, so the rod just fits through. The two clamping plates clamp it, holds it rigid. Now the whole point of this section here is that as you raise and lower these bolts, this section is gonna tilt in these two directions. It needs to be able to do that. The reason it needs to be able to do that is when we put the rod there, the uh, Oh, drum on this section with the belt in between it, they're not going to be lined up. It, you're going to do your best to line them up, dropping a plumb bob, that kind of thing, but you're still not, you're not going to get them right, and the belt's going to move. Being able to adjust here, so you get that kind of adjustment to it, it's going to bring the tower over in those directions and help you line up the belt. So this forms a um, tilt correction mechanism, a, an alignment system. Um, now, as that's going to tilt, if you drill through at 12 millimetres there, you're not really going to get enough free play at this section here to get the tilt. So, what I did was drill through at 16 millimetres. What that means is that if I just put the nuts on, it'll be far too wobbly. So, again, we've got two washers. These are fixing washers here, and there's another one underneath. And as you tighten them, it will clamp it tight. And that's what you're looking for. So, the next section is going to be about how to make this. Okay? I decided on making this as a separate section because I think the video will be too long. 